In this lesson, you will learn to put decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers onto a number line. Okay, so I have a number line here. All of my numbers are between zero and two. Okay, so it's more than, it's not a negative number, and nothing is higher than two. Okay, so I have one and a half, I have one and a fourth, but nothing's bigger than two. So I'm gonna start with my four tenths. Well, four tenths is between zero and one. And if I were to split this number line up into 10, well, there's half, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you pretend that they're all even, nice and evenly spaced. So there are ten tenths, which is one. So four tenths would be one, two, three, four. Right here is zero and four tenths. Okay. Now I'm going to look at one and one half. Well, one and one half is past one, and it's halfway between one and two. So I'm going to mark it halfway between one and one half. Now I have 75 hundredths as a decimal. 75 hundredths is like three quarters, or 75 cents is three quarters of one whole dollar. Whoops, so it's down here. This is four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. This is seven tenths and eight tenths. It's actually right between seven and eight tenths. Zero and 75 hundredths, okay? Then I have one and one fourth. One and one fourth is between one and two. So if I were to split this part between one and two up into four parts, so that'd be one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. One and one fourth is right here. And so we have them actually ordered in order now. Four tenths is the smallest. 75 hundredths is the next largest. One and one fourth is the next largest. And one and one half is the largest number. So going in order, these are all plotted on a number line. And that's the end of our lesson on putting decimals, fractions, and mixed numbers on a number line.